Good afternoon everybody. I just thought I'd show you what you missed this morning. It's wild here. So as you can see, the wisteria has come back in all its glory. Those are the raspberries. Some of them are taller than me. So we'll just do a quick scan round that way. Those are the peas, up past the top of the frame. We have the green beans, the miniature green beans, dwarf green beans. They're doing really well. So I don't know if we've got any green beans there yet. I don't think so. I think they're just flowering at the minute. So those are the little flowers. Okay. The marigolds have gone mental. Okay. These are the uh, asparagus peas. Okay, so behind every one of those lovely red flowers will be a beautiful asparagus pea. I can't see any at the minute to show you. So they've not quite set the peas yet. But I will show you in a couple of weeks. The onions are put on weight. Okay, so in a few weeks time those will fall over and then we'll start lifting them and drain them off ready to store them for the winter. That's the flower bed that we've planted, doing okay. And then we have some tomatoes there, been attacked by the wind. This is our flower bed with the sunflowers. And as you can see, this is the smallest one. And I think this one, the smallest one's just got to eight feet. And the two at the back, I reckon are now 10 feet tall because they're a good two foot above the height of the summer house. Okay, the gypsophilia that I chopped the root off when I moved it is coming back strong. Okay, now Debbie asked me the name of this last time we were here and I couldn't remember, I've grown this from seed. It is Scabiosa. So that should be flowering next time I see you. The lavender's doing okay. Uh, and as you can see, we are awash with calendula. We'll go this way. Lots of extra large squashes. I'm going to be squashed out. The Nepetia, Six Hills Giant Nepetia, is still flowering. And the bees, bless the little hearts, are still enjoying some of these flowers. Okay, I've cut back all the, all the uh, potatoes now. So I just need to take those out. The corn is doing really well. That's not far off already. Uh, we have in here, we have the spinach, which has gone mad, as you can see. And we've still got some good beets down there. Oops, let me get that leaf out of the way. Still got some good beets. A piece of the nasturtiums that I haven't planted and have gone mad going across into Georgina's there's Georgina's over there the wind is ravaging everything at the minute so the my um, plastic hood for keeping the plants warm at the start of the season has fallen over and has squashed the gladioli well, that beautiful gladioli with a nasty, horrible caterpillar sat inside there. Look, you see him just enjoying the flower, cheeky monkey. Right, we've got pumpkins sitting. Let me take you to the pumpkins. I am walking on calendula because I can't get past them. So, there's our first pumpkin set there. I think there's another one somewhere. I've seen another one last week knocking around somewhere. There's another one there. Uh, I don't know if you can see right under there. Can you see the dark brown bit right under? That's a pumpkin that's got wet and has rotted on the vine. That happens if it gets too wet. Okay, more sweet corn here. So there's a nice big bit of sweet corn there. And then if I turn around, I will show you the size of the eating apple, the cooking apples on the tree, which are now currently the size of my hand okay 
and they are really putting on weight since I pruned the top of the tree. I took all the top branches off the tree, the, the new branches that I didn't want. Can you hear the wind? It's not good. <laughs> so let's go into the greenhouse very quickly and we'll just see what the tomatoes are doing. And then I'll post this for you and leave you all in peace because it's Sunday and you want peace and quiet. Right, we have lots of tomatoes. I don't know if you can see the height of this one here. Wait a minute, let me get round. So this one is currently taller than me. So we've got lots of flowers, Jake. Loads of flowers. And down here, we have a nice bunch of tomatoes down there. Look. So they're just get those leaves out of the way so what i'm going to do for the next half an hour is just get rid of some of these leaves and then i'll show you the tomatoes again later when i've done that so we've got two varieties of tomatoes we've got uh three tomat three varieties sorry we have the tomatoes the italian tomatoes which i can't remember the name of for the sauces these here are uh sweet uh, no sweet aperitif these grow differently <coughs> to the sweet millions so those are sweet aperitif on that side and then on this side I've got sweet millions but if you see these sort of bunch out so these do more like a bunch like a grape those are the sweet millions I'm sure that it's a sweet million let me just double check Oh no, sorry, sweet aperitif. I've got them wrong way around. So sweet aperitif bunch like grapes and sweet millions go down in a line. Okay. So they're all doing okay. The basil has flowered. Not good. Um, and that's it really. It's all exciting stuff. I'm in a tomato jungle at the moment so what i need to do can you see all these lovely tomatoes here oh, there's lots of these oh there's some tomatoes ready at the back they're hiding little ones ready let me get to them can you see they're just peeking out so i'm going to have my first harvest of tomatoes today and those ones are are those sweet millions there let me just check Oh goodness, I can't see the label. Those are sweet millions. So those are sweet millions. So that's what I did. I put sweet millions on the left and sweet aperitif on the right. So those are absolutely delicious and ready for picking. So when your tomatoes start getting ripe, if you take them off slightly underripe, like that one there, can you see that one there that's slightly underripe? If you take them off like that, then the, that will just encourage your other ones to ripen up as well. So don't be afraid to take a yellow one off. So at this side, so those are the sweet millions. The sweet aperitif are slightly smaller tomatoes. Let me just show you these in comparison. Only slightly smaller. So that one there, the one on the left is a sweet million. And this one here is a sweet aperitif. So like i've done with the others i'm going to take these off slightly under ripe because they will ripen at home i don't even have to put them on the window ledge i can just leave them and they will ripen by themselves okay so you don't need to worry too much okay so i'm going to make a cup of tea and i'm going to sit in the summer house and avoid the wind so there you go Sunflower heaven, bee heaven, crazy. Although well, there's no bees around at the minute, I think they've all gone into hiding, it's too flaming cold. Okay, so see you soon, bye bye.